Two weeks came and went, and I was miraculously still here. Weeks turned into months, and eventually, through a long, arduous road, I was cured. I'm not sure why this happened, if it was a miracle or not. But now, I had this new mission. Maybe the universe decided my life's work wasn't done. My new lease on life was devoted to helping others and touching their lives in meaningful ways. Everything I do is to honor that pledge. And hopefully, in some small way, I'm adding life to your life. Hi guys! So let me help you understand further on how to watch the readings. So remember, this is going to be based on Vedic sidereal astrology, not Western. So if you're watching this from your sun sign, then the resonance of the energy will be happening on a soul level. Now, if you are watching this from your ascendant, then from ascendant, it's happening towards the physical manifestation of the reading. And then, if you are watching this on your moon sign, then this is going to be resonating from your feelings, your mind, and your thoughts. Now, for the people who are looking for that masculine energy, then you would have to look for Jupiter in your chart so that you will know how the energy works. And then, if for the people who are attracted to the feminine energy, then you would have to look for Venus. Now, do remember that Venus also rules the energy of the relationship, so that would be also helpful for you. Now that you guys are all set, thank you very much, and let's begin with your reading. Hi, Scorpios. Welcome to my channel. We're doing your reading. How are you? Um, before we start, um, please do check the late night tarot. So we have a late night tarot for all the zodiacs. Um, it comes random and sporadically. Um, I don't know why I'm tired like this. <laughs> no, I think I burned my tongue or whatever. <laughs> Anyhow, so check the late night tarot. We have two episodes. I think last night was the ASMR. It comes different. Okay, sometimes sometimes it's it's just just watch. Okay, <laughs> so it comes with all the zodiacs and then there's a collective at the end. But for now, I'll put it somewhere right here. Okay, so you can check it out if you've missed it. Um, there are different kinds that we do late night. Okay, so I want to see you there. And then um, personals, um, it's limited. It's right there. Um, you can check it out. There's two kinds in the description box. Are we ready? Um, we're going to start first uh, intuitive. And we also have girl deck for today. <laughs> There's our lovely co-host. Ladies and gentlemen, the girl deck. Applause. There you go. <laughs> It's just me over here in this studio. And then we're gonna go for the tarot. Hmm, I forgot what it's called, but this is the Millennium one. One of my faves. Okay. okay, so. Oh, and also the zodiacs we'll get here. Okay. Punung puno. Paki like, paki share. Para makapahinga. Okay, so here we go. Let's get the zodiac first. The hit list and the damage list in the extended. We got Libra. Oh, no, Pisces, sorry. It's Pisces. For the water sign, Capricorn for the earth sign, um, Leo for the fire sign, and Justice Libra for the uh, air sign. They all get reading in the extended separate, okay? We know the drill. Okay, we know the drill. Okay. So, someone here is trying to find the root of a situation, the origin of something. It can be researching, you could be trying to... Um, it's not about study. It's almost like roots. Okay, so you can have tracing of the roots or dark roots or you need to get your hair colored. It's all about the roots okay, for the Scorpio. Um, I'm seeing here it can be like, you know, some sort of a Sag energy that you're dealing with because it's Mula. So um, you can also be connecting with your ancestors. Like try to contact your... Oh, which is very true. It's 15 days. I think five days ago, it's a celebration about our ancestors in... Uh, uh, in How do you call this? Uh, it's a celebration. I forgot. In, 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 in Hindi. I forgot what it's called. But it's just about pay respects. Okay. Because they're always watching. You know, they're always looking after... So whatever you're doing, you're never alone. Did you know that? <laughs> They're always there like this. Okay, Scorpio. So now you know. Okay. You're never alone. Sheesh. No privacy in this life, right? 
Okay, and just your thought that you can hide things. Okay. Um, I'm seeing here also, um, for someone who wants to either do some sort of work with film, okay, you might want to work for a film production, or just want to be on screen, or you want to do YouTube, or something about film. You could be a photographer. Um, um, there's something about electric, okay? So you could be going to a concert, a festival, or the person you're dealing with wants to go to a, some sort of elect maybe EDC, electric, oh, what, electric zoo, whatever that zoo is, okay? So let me get the Oracle deck over here, guys. Okay. Mark is very strong with you guys. I think I did Mark before. Who is Mark? I don't know. Okay. Let's see. Mm hmm You got degrees of love for the girl deck. Okay. So chances are you're trying to analyze. Okay. What kind of love? Oh, which is the root? The degrees of love. That is so cool. Yeah. So you're trying to understand how, how, you know, it's like, what kind of love do you have for this person? Do you love romantic or is this platonic or is this what it is already? Okay. Is this someone who just, you know what, you know, I'm just going to love this person regardless, whatever. You know, it's like, it can be, um, you know, very just casual, you know, with the casual shoes, you know, or it can be, is it just for a show with the Louboutins over there? Um, but there is someone who's coming new also to your life right now. So you got options. This is my option cards. Yeah, you got options, Scorpio. Cross watcher, you can apply to your situation. Don't hate if the Scorpio has options. We all have options. We just have to open the door. Okay. <laughs> Oh, and you have here, let the soulmate grow, grow without you. So definitely there's a separation between the two of you right now. Um, normally this is my East Coast, West Coast kind of connection where they are on different hemispheres. So they're, they're wherever, okay? Wherever you are, they're not there, okay? <laughs> so, but they're having, um, um, they're having their own awakening. They're having their own moment right now, um, Scorpio. And it's, it's a healthy space. Uh, this is my Virgo card, okay? <laughs> This is when they go to the school of Hermitology of Sciences. Okay, so this person is gonna graduate Summa Magna Cum Laude of Hermitology. Okay, when they come back, they would have already the purple, you know, um, or maybe red, you know, but they have the degree already for Hermitology. Okay, congratulations, applause, applause to the person that you're dealing with. Um, you have your accept it and don't post it. Oh wow! So this is when you keep it to yourself. Hush. There are good things coming in your way. You don't want to attract the evil eye. The evil eye. Okay. Let's go with your tarot. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Ooh, spicy are we? Chariot with the two of pentacles. Someone got no time. Yeah, two of pentacles. When I see the two of pentacles run, if you're trying to get into a commitment with the two of pentacles, they got no time. If it can be a cancerian or you're busy and a cancerian's coming towards you, there's a chariot. But you got no time right now. You're busy. You're busy, okay? Because Two of Pentacles, your responsibility is beyond the Ten of Wands, okay? You, both your hands are tied to this routine that you're going right now, and you're running. You're gonna run from one place to another, to another, to another, okay? So no breaks here, no breaks. So can be, you know, um, this energy is about, you know, you could also be running around like you're an Uber driver, look at that one, or Lyft, okay? Because we always have duality in tarot, so Uber or Lyft, okay? Or, I don't know, grab, okay? <laughs> so you have your two of pentacles, so you're running around like crazy, okay? Or this person is like running around like crazy. Mm -hmm. it's, uh, two of pentacles is not in and out. They're never in, so stop with the in and out, okay? <laughs> They're always somewhere, so don't think it's, oh, it's an in and out, no, it's not. They're always out, okay? Someone here can also be working, um, travel, like, you know, it's like they travel for work. Mm -hmm. The chariot. Could be working in the hospitality industry. Someone here is also trying to get in touch with you, but you got no time. Okay. Just be careful because uh, two of pentacles is um, you have to learn to manage your schedule. You know. Four of Wands. Hello. Okay. <laughs> so the moment that there's a relationship coming towards you, you don't have time anymore. Okay, I see that. I see that. Because you're busy, okay, moving forward with your life. For others, this person that you've been dealing with in this constant cycle of the Two of Pentacles, um, they want to finalize this connection, Scorpio. They really, really do. Okay. 
you could be probably also going around in circles right now in the situation with regards to your relationship. Like, where is it really going? You guys are together, but where is it going? Mm -hmm. That's the four of wands. It's pretty positive, but um, if it's a long distance relationship, I feel like both of you might tie the knot, meaning move in together. Could be dealing with an Aquarius, air sign. If we're dealing with this Aquarius, they're very serious about the commitment right now. They're very, very serious. Like, this person, you can look in the eyes and, like, let's be together. Mm -hmm. They want to cut, uh, you know, the whole you doing you and them doing them. Regardless of their zodiac, they don't want this uh, thing where you guys have no time for each other. Mm -hmm. Because it brings unnecessary struggles, five of ones. It brings, you know, it's like, not argument, but discomfort between the two of you. Like, you guys can be so fine being together in the Far Ones, but the moment that you guys are working or taking, doing whatever they are supposed to do and you're doing, it's easy for you guys to have this uh, fight. And it's easy also for the other person to just walk away from the argument. The Emperor. Can be an Aries that you're connecting with, or this is you because this is my Mars card. Um, both of you here, I feel, has a lot going on in their plate. Okay, it's a buffet. There's a relationship, but both of you have no time for this. It's interesting because you guys are together, but no time. The Emperor wants to talk to you, but. They're just so difficult to talk to because this is highway or my way and that's you and this person is also the same thing when both of you look in each other's eyes and basically have this uh, very you know poker face look there's so much friction already with the five of ones hence both of you right now is in separation because both of you don't have time for this to open up this. This is just a matter of uh, how to say this. I'm finishing uh, what you guys need to finish in separate. And then I feel like there's going to be union later on. Okay. So I'm going to continue this reading. You got Libra, Leo, Capricorn, and Pisces. Okay. Um, this is a light read, which is very, very good. It's very mellow. I like it. Um, there's not much of drama, which is good. So meaning you're staying away from anything that causes imbalance in your energy. However, there is no cups, but there is a relationship. We'll see an extended. Thank you very much, guys, for watching. Please like, please share. Para magkape, makape. I'll see you guys again. Bye. Of course, now there's drama. The ultimate drama card also. Eight of cups. <laughs> and I said no cups. Okay. So someone here has left and wants to... <laughs> Very coins. Um, you might apply to a new job, you might apply to a, you know, there's something new that you're doing here. Ace of Swords with Eight of Pentacles. Let's go with the Libra. I'm happy Saturn is direct. Dealing with the Libra. Got a Moon card. Got a Queen of Swords. 